Good day. Thank you and welcome to Holy Trinity Church on this Wednesday of the 11th week following the Pentecost. I invite you to join us for our service of healing, to download the bulletin for today's service. The online portion is available online at trinityjuno.org. You'll find the bulletins listed at noonday on the top right of the, of the site. Welcome. We give you thanks, O oh God, we give you thanks, calling upon your name and declaring all your wonderful deeds. Let us confess our sins to God. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior, Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through the grace of Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. No <clears throat> God, be not far from us. Come, Come quickly to help us, O God. God. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. O God, be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of your countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples with equity and guide all the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Day by day we bless you, we praise your name forever. Psalm 66. Be joyful in God, all you lands. Sing the glory of his name. Sing the glory of his praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great strength, your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bows down before you. Sings to you, sings out your name. Come now and see the works of God. How wonderful he is in his doing toward all people. He turned the sea into dry land, so that they went through the water on foot. And there we <laughs> rejoiced in him, almost scans. <laughs> in his might he rules forever, his eyes keep watch o'er the nations. 
Let no rebel rise up against him, bless our God, you peoples. Make the voice of his praise to be heard, who holds our souls in life and will not allow our feet to slip. For you, O oh God, have proved us. You tried us just as silver is tried. You brought us in to the snare. You laid heavy burdens upon our backs. You let enemies ride over our heads. You went to fire and water. But you brought us out into a place of refreshment. I will enter your house with burnt offerings and will pay you my vows, which I promised with my lips and spoke with my mouth when I was in trouble. I will sacrifice of fat beasts with the smoke of rams I will give you oxen and, and goats come and listen all you who fear God and I will tell you what he hath done for me I called out to him with my mouth and his praise was on my tongue. If I had found evil in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. But in truth, God has heard me, has attended the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God who has not rejected my prayer nor withheld his love from me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. <laughs> Thank you for uh, inspiring that today, <laughs> Therese. <laughs> today, we read a passage from the Gospel of Matthew. If another member of the church sins against you, go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If the member listens to you, you have regained that one. But if you're not listened to, take one or two others along with you so that every word may be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If the member refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Let us always remember the awesome power of these words and bring them and bind them with the healing power of love. Let us name before God those for whom we offer our prayers. Pray today 
for the comfort of the Smith family. We pray for Carol. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We pray, we pray for you, thank you, Lord. God the Son, you came that we might have life. We pray then that we might have it more abundantly. We pray for you, thank you, Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We pray for you, thank you, Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. We praise, we praise you and thank you, Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear we us, O Lord, Lord of life. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear us, O Lord of life. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear us, O Lord of life. Bless physicians, nurses, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy, and patience. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death, and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Hear us, O Lord of life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear us, O Lord of life. You are the Lord who does wonders. You have declared your power among the peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life, and in your life we see life. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us, Let us pray. O Lord our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people. In the multitude of your mercies, look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O lover of souls, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as Jesus taught us, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, and strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work the building up of your people and to the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family in God. Let us become examples for others, and so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your glory.
watch over all elders and the brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in a time of sorrow, sickness, or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. This day, Lord, we give thanks for the return of our son safely from fishing. Pray for Zachary and for resolution of his difficulties. Amen. O God, whose blessed Son became poor, that we through his poverty might become rich. Deliver us from an inordinate love of this world, that we, inspired by the devotion of your servant Claire, might serve you with singleness of heart and attain to the riches of the age to come through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And ascending from St. Clair, live without fear, the Creator has made you holy, has always protected you, and loves you as a mother. Go in peace to follow the good road, and may God's blessing be with you always. Amen. May Christ, our Redeemer, bring us healing and wholeness. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you.